Welcome to Bus Driver Life. My name is Kiwan. I'm a bus driver, but today I want to talk about a transit agency that is actually offering a $7,500 bonus to new bus drivers. I'm rich. That's almost $10,000. So it is no secret that a lot of transit agencies have been dealing with bus driver shortages thanks to the whole pandemic situation. These driver shortages are greatly affecting service. How? Well, since there are not enough drivers to operate the routes, some trips have to be canceled and some transit agencies have even reduced service altogether. So let's take a look at what one, what one, what one? transit agency is doing to attract new drivers. So we go all the way to Portland, Oregon, here in the United States of America. The transit company is named TriMet. And you can see right here, we're hiring bus drivers. And they are offering a $7,500 hiring bonus. And the starting pay is at $25.24 per hour. And great benefits. A lot of transit companies have great benefits. Not all of them though. Some of them have mediocre benefits, but there are quite a few that have good benefits. My question is, how are are they going to give the money out to the operators? So as we take a look at this article, which was posted on April 27th, 2022, TriMet is short about 300 bus operators and is increasing entry pay levels to help recruit needed personnel. The transit company is increasing entry driver pay to $25.24 per hour, up about $3.50 from before. To retain recruits, TriMet is also offering a $7,500 hiring bonus that will be spread out over the first three years of employment. So there's the catch a little bit. They're gonna spread that out amongst three years. You're not gonna get a lump sum, but I guess if you divide that by three, that's a pretty nice bonus for your first three years being employed with TriMet, if you make it to three years. So what caused the driver shortage at TriMet? They say the problem is the result of several years of challenges. In the early months of the pandemic, TriMet ridership was down as much as 75%. Many commercial drivers have also been part of the so-called great resignation across the country. So with the pay increase for the entry level drivers, I was wondering how would it affect the current drivers? Because we can't forget about the people that are actually there working hard in the midst of the driver shortage. The article states that the increased pay isn't just for new drivers. It also applies to existing drivers who were hired before the bump. In order to show all of our bus operators, we appreciate what they do for TriMet. The pay scale increases over time to $68,000 per year, which does not include increased potential for overtime. And for those of you that are interested in applying, keep in mind that a commercial driver's license and bus driving experience are not required. TriMet will provide paid training. So that's good that this will give a $3.50 pay raise basically to all of the operators that are already employed with TriMet. However, I hope they also give a retention bonus bonus to all the operators that are already there. Like, can they get $7,000 too? All the ones that are already there? Maybe. One thing I love to check out whenever things like this are posted on social media is what are people saying in the comments section? So let's take a look at some of the comments that people left regarding this new hiring bonus and increased pay rate for new drivers. This person said, is there security on the buses with the drivers? Yeah, you know, I think most bus drivers all across the world would probably like a uh, individual security officer on board, more specifically a police officer. Actually. Can I get a member of the SWAT team? Because some of these people are acting crazy when they get onto the buses. Hyper violent, aggressive, like it really does happen. And it's happening more often now, I notice. This person said, how about a retention bonus for all the employees who have stayed through the pandemic? Yes, that is a great question. So this person said, how about you take care of the drivers you already have? What about them? They've stuck by you throughout the pandemic, been abused and assaulted daily before, during and will continue to be. Maybe if TriMet appreciated and valued their employees, they wouldn't be so short-handed. So other person said, I wish I wasn't 82, I'd be applying. So how many of you bus drivers are gonna relocate to Portland, Oregon and get that $7,500 bonus? And I love to hear from people in the comments that are actually from Portland, Oregon, where TriMet is at. Is it a good system? Is it dangerous for the drivers? Are there a lot of incidents that the drivers have to deal with as far as assaults and attacks? Let me know in the comments. And what do you all think about this starting pay rate and the bonus and the fact that they're also gonna raise the pay rate of all the existing drivers? Do you think that the existing drivers should also get a retention bonus? of $7,500? Let me know what you think. And thank you for watching Bus Driver Life.